Hey folks, uh, this is Pierce Landry with Cannabis Mechanical. I wanted to go over a few things about sizing your room and the efficiencies involved with your dehumidifiers compared to reheat dehumidification. Um, so I just drew up this real quick example for you guys. It's a very typical room, uh, four table room with five lights on each table. So I've got 20 lights in here, uh, about 20,000 watts or 1,000 watts each, right? I estimate that needs about eight tons of cooling. So in this room, based off just purely the lights, we would probably do eight to 10 tons of cooling in there. Um, if you have the dehumidification companies quote you on what size dehues you need for the room, I, I estimate they would have you do two of their 500 pint per day units, right? So I've got one in each corner for you there. The thing is these dehumidifiers produce 31,000 BTUs each. So each one of these dehues literally needs three and a half tons of cooling just to keep it cooled. So we've got seven tons of cooling just in those two dehues in addition to the eight tons of cooling needed for the lights, right? So right there alone, you have 15 tons of AC needed just to, just to keep the room under control with all those D, with those two dehues. Um, sure, you can go with smaller size. Let's say you went with 225 or something, half the 500. So that's still three and a half tons of cooling needed in addition to the eight tons of cooling for your lights, right? So you're still over 10 tons, for example. Um, if if Cannabis Mechanical was to go in there and design this room or fix this room, we would actually be turning off those dehues or not installing them in the first place because those two air handlers, those two five ton units are capable of doing a thousand pints per day between the two of them, right? Meeting that meeting that dehu demand that the, the dehumidification company quoted you on. So for just 10 tons of cooling, you can keep this whole room under control with just reheat dehumidification. You would not have to spend the $5,000 or whatever it costs to buy these 500 pint per day dehumidifiers. Um, you wouldn't have to spend the money on that or pay them to run and, and not actually keep your room under control. So that's just something that I wanted you guys to think about uh, when sizing your rooms and considering is reheat dehumidification something that I should, that I should step into. Well, if you're not meeting your demands and, and you're just having to install another overly priced dehumidifier, maybe it is something you should consider. That's all, folks. Talk to you next time.